Uh, sure, why don't we talk about, uh, let's talk about trans rights then. Okay. So, like, do you think that like, it should be legal to, say, fire someone because of their gender or their gender identity? I think it should be legal to fire someone for any reason, yes. Or why? no reason at all. Uh, because you should be free to associate and you're, you, you're free to your property. You don't. Nobody else has a right to your property or your association. Sure, so you're framing this in terms of freedom. What about the person who just got laid off? Do they not face a substantial loss of freedom for the fact they don't have any income anymore? Not a freedom to which they're entitled. So why don't we you change your sense of freedom then to include like the ability to get by, like to pay rent? Because nobody nobody owes you that. You have to earn that. Okay, why shouldn't we try to construct a society where generally people don't need to worry about getting fired because of something that they didn't choose? How like if someone prepare? fired you for being conservative, you'd be totally okay with that? Yeah, totally. Are you can I how can you, you create a oh how can you create a meritocracy uh when you don't allow people to be fired for for any reason or no reason at all? I mean the fact of the matter It's is actually the other way. Why? It's no, it's that when you allow people to be fired because of like some bias that someone might have against them, like, oh I'm gonna fire this person because they're black, because they're conservative, because they're trans way. or whatever, right? They can't can rise through the ranks to their natural challenge. Can I force you to go on a date with someone? No. Why not? Sure, because generally dates aren't the same thing as employment. Employment is necessary to like well, sustenance in life. Dates are not. That person to experience love. I, so love is generally not something we consider necessary to like a good life. What? But yes, it is. Money is. Yeah, food is. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. You think money? Is I mean, do you want to do like okay. Maslow's can hierarchy can I, can I of needs, right? Buy a Snickers bar for somebody. I, so we're talking about society-wide things. There's something called a collective action problem. Me doing something is not the same thing as society doing something, right? Society hiring blacks fairly, for example, helps them get ahead. Me dating one black doesn't change anything. Employer. Okay, okay, here's yeah, a But that's why it's laws. Can it's can laws for I every employer, every individual that, employer. Is it is it biased? Is it is it racist if you have a sexual preference for a certain race? Uh, I would say generally it's not too racist, but it could promote a racist society. What about that individual? An individual is the same thing as an individual employer. So am I not, um, by not granting somebody the right to sex, isn't that something that they need to? Sure. So the goal is not to eliminate discrimination in every field directly. It's to eliminate it indirectly. When we allow, when we force employers to hire people, say, of all races, for example, equally, we ensure that they tend to rise to the same class. We ensure that why, people don't tend to discriminate based on race. And then you won't need to worry about the bedroom anymore because then it will be racially equal. Okay, listen, why is employer a special relationship in which you get to dictate to other people with whom they must associate or not? What is the distinction that makes employer different from friend, boyfriend, family member, whatever? Sure, because those things, while they are like useful, are not the means of sustenance for people's lives. You spend a third of your life or more at work, you get all of your money sure or almost are. all of your money from work. Sure they are. And moreover, state action wouldn't be effective in the family context. It is in the employer context. We can feasibly well, enforce like a racial neutrality argument instead of a principled argument. This is just stuff. But I you made like both. Stuff you don't. Yeah, I made both. It's one is that it wouldn't work, and two but is you, that like no. they're fundamentally different categories. Okay, but you think it would work to for you think it would work to force people to employ people for arbitrary reasons. I, it's not for arbitrary reasons. It's that you can't fire them for arbitrary reasons, say based on race. You can fire them for other arbitrary reasons can I in most people, states in the can America. Can I force an employer to, hi to hire black people? Can I force Target to hire black people? So it's not about hiring. It's about firing in particular. What's the distinction? Now, in they addition, I do think also, well, like we, we actually said. literally already have laws that you aren't allowed to discriminate in hiring. And so I do think both should be racially neutral, but it's harder to prove but, racially but unneutral here's, hiring here's, than it is firing. practicality argument. When yes, because states have to enforce laws that they can actually Listen, enforce. Are you going to let us talk or are you just going to keep talking? Oh my god, everybody fuck off. All right, get out of here. Yeah, dude, oh, we'll see yeah. you later, man.